Hey guys, this is Loki and Swordfish from Niflheim Gaming coming back for another episode of our weekly Nuzlocke challenge. Hey, you know while I was waiting for you to start the stream, I noticed something. What's that? Look at our hat. Like specifically the brim of the hat. That line just keeps like jumping up and down, adding an extra layer of pixels. <laughs> It's not just a hat. If you look at the line across the floor, it's doing it too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That whole line. <laughs> also, the top of the hat is pixelizing. It's not doing the exact same thing. It happens no matter where you go. Huh. Even, do, even when you're looking up and you can't see the broom, it does it right about where the broom should be. Hey. There you go. That's weird. <laughs> Oh, guys, sorry we missed last week, was recovering from being sick. And I was shiny hunting. Alright, everything is the exact same as it was what, two weeks ago. No big changes. I'm going to kill this Pidgey right here and now. No big deal. And you know he has nothing when he sends out a fire type thing. <laughs> Charmeleon does not have sturdy. <laughs> Yeah. Space man it is. <laughs> Seriously though, who would have thought that Spaceman would end up being useful? He's a staple. See? <laughs> So low. Man, we almost made it through that whole rival fight without taking any damage. I know. <laughs> Give him a sensual back rub. <laughs> you know, I always thought you had to read the book. 
before you could talk to him. Really? What makes you believe that? I don't know. I've never read his book. So I know they had it, I know they have it in Generation Three. I forget if they did it in two, but another one of the really good things that they updated in Pokemon from Gen One was being able to just walk up to a tree and push A. Yeah. To get the option to cut it down instead of having to bring up the menu every single time. Yeah, that's been that's been a thing. It's been a really long time since I've played the older games. Takes forever for this boat to leave. <laughs> I hate that make you watch it. so foolhardy to say that we won't need those four experience points. <laughs> Okay, do we teach it to Chance, Space Man, or Dig Dug? <laughs> Somebody's got to bite the bullet on Oh. Uh, man, that is actually a really hard choice. So my thoughts are uh, Space Man. Because his moveset's pretty well held down. We're not going to teach him too many other moves. And, uh, cut is a stab attack for him, being normal type. Yeah. So I think he would make the most sense. We can do that instead of tackle. Yeah. God, I remember being a kid and thinking for the longest time that Slash was stronger than Cut. Oh, it is. Actually, if you go look at the power of it, Cut's stronger. I'll, it. I'll tell you, Slash has a power of 70 and Cut has a base power of 60. Cut has a base power of 50, it's barely better than Tackle. Huh. And Slash has a high chance of critting, so it's, it's a way better move. Okay. Well, that is not how I got that reasoning as a kid. The way I got the reasoning when I was a kid, which, I, which is why I'm actually really shocked that it ended up being true, it's because as a kid, I said, especially on the old Gen 1, I said, well, Cut only puts one line across him when it attacks and Slash does three. It has to be stronger. Okay. That's why I was kind of shocked to hear just now that, oh, Slash is stronger. Huh? <laughs> I hate 
hate this game. <laughs> this specific little mini game. So I put Dig Dug up in the front just to try to conserve Lipolo's strength. Oh mm -hmm. god. There are two of the one to the right or it could be the one down? Which one do you feel? Uh, let's try down. Nope. Damn it. You screwed this over. You ruined it for all of us. Game Freak are so proud that they created this. <laughs> oh, damn Uh so that could have gone. That could have gone south. Yeah. Also, thank God that Magnemite's physical defense was. Well, it does twenty damage each time. Well, I meant against Dig. I was gonna say thank God the Magnemite's physical defense was a little bit on the lower end. It seemed. I forgot steel was weak to it too. Yeah. Oh, and we're fighting this guy. Then sneak past him. <laughs> well, at least he'll be out of the way. <laughs> Why would you do that? That's just great paralyzed for the next Pikachu. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Not working out. <laughs> now his attacks are missing. Nobody can land a strike on anyone. <laughs> Just a 
somebody that entered a battle they knew they couldn't win. <laughs> Well, that worked out fairly nice. Yes, it did. Now we gotta take out Tucker. Then let Lippolo sweep this whole place. <laughs> How is it faster than a Pikachu? I don't know. That one's not so much of a how as a why. I can't think of any reason why you would ever want to use quick attack when they've done when they've used fly or dig. When you're on the invulnerable turn, no, you should not do that. So now we'll let Lippolo clean up here. I would let Dig Dug get the experience, but I just feel like it has really low HP at this point. Yeah. Well, that was that. <laughs> <laughs> I did not think when I said sweep I didn't mean that strong <laughs> I mean, could always do, uh, I think the VBA-M has a link option that'll let you trade. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's just a matter of setting up another game. Having to do that. There's a way to do it. I forget how. I did it before with yellow, and I didn't really like read any type of guide on doing it uh -huh. I just kind of went with it and I ended up getting so mad at the game because it was back when they first launched the feature the link feature for the emulator uh -huh. so I spent like an hour and a half trying to get it to link up right finally did was going to trade my Pikachu on yellow so it could be a normal and I could just get Raichu. And I didn't account 
that entire time for the fact that all I'd done was copy my save data? Yep. Trainer number has to be different. Yup. And so it That's traded and I was like, yeah, and then I took three steps and the Pikachu oh, yeah. started following me and I was like, why? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, knock it out. Damn it. Yay, you're done. <laughs> So, early last week, I was playing through uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica to get footage for the review, and then I decided to record a full playthrough going for an A rank. I learned that on older hardware, when you're doing video rendering, you should really not try to render a three hour video. The video was about three hours long and it took it about 46 hours to render. All right. <laughs> It should be able to. Good, so if it dies, it's completely your fault. This is all your idea. <laughs> okay, that was a crit. That was nothing. So we're just going to run it back. <laughs> Yeah, because I doubt it's going to be much fun. It's not. I've done it a few 
times now without Flash. I've gone through Rock Tunnel without it. I don't recommend the experience. <laughs> and I haven't done it on Generation 3. Oh, dang it. So, for the longest time, I always thought Rock Tunnel was like really complicated maze and it really can seem that way. Well, even in the light, it can be fairly annoying unless you've gone through it enough times. But then when you look at a map of it, it's like two rooms. Yeah, it's three floors long, and it's pretty self-explanatory to get through. Uh, I just have to... It's really, good, it's really good level design on it, though, because it seems a lot more complicated than it is. I remember questioning that when I was younger. Huh. Why do they route it so that you have to fight these guys? Give you trouble for a speed run. And a friend the other day told me they wanted to try to set the record to do an any percent speed run for one of the Gen 1 games. Yeah, good luck. I was like, good luck. And they said, why? I said, the world record zero zero zero. <laughs> thought you did especially with like how you just immediately went to it no I always just like to throw a guess out there sometimes <laughs> I forget if we got the bike stops or not nope also learned when I was younger it is impossible to buy the bike whatsoever Because at first I was like, well, I'm just going to go battle the Elite Four until I have enough money. Use a game shark to get around parts. Because I wanted to see if it was possible. And then after two times going through the Elite Four and watching the unskippable credits, I said, okay, I'll just do it the faster way and use infinite money. <laughs> <laughs> One off. Well, that's easier than uh, it is in Generation 1, because I recently had to do that. Um, every one of those little options he had were their own clickable moments. <laughs> they also didn't have a fast forward button like I do. Whoops. Okay. This would be very bad if Lippolo gets stuck in here. <laughs> chance it is. Just another day at the office for last chance. If you know it, 
finishes <laughs> the job. And we only had seven levels on the thing. <laughs> Yeah. I say we learn acid in lieu of poison powder just so we have a different type covered. Yeah, and acid can directly damage. So, Chance, are we going to evolve him into Vileplume, or...? Well, with the lack of... the Sunstone's not really available at this point, or in this game till way late. Yeah. So I'm thinking, yeah, we're going to... we're going to go Vileplume when we get to Celadon City. Okay. At least the Diglets make a pretty decent grind spot. They do. Uh, that's the only way Chance is as strong as he is. Uh, I just sat here for like an hour uh, killing Diglets. <laughs> He's gained nine levels since we caught him a few weeks ago. And then I used that to get some of our other people up like Salt. Uh, just people that aren't really good at combat. Yeah. Set them up here. And I have to see if I bought a damn repel. Come on. Acid in your face. <laughs> this was all like one turn kill, but I would I'd be more down for it. I would if 
I had an Abra, but I don't. I actually need to look at the stats to see if Mr. Mind is there as an Abra. Oh, uh, I think in general, like if you were to keep Abra as Abra all the way up to level 100, yeah. Mr. Mime would beat it. Yeah, 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 obviously. I mean, like, as a keep Abra and stuff, had to go and trade. Uh, as a Kadabra, I don't know. I'm sure it's, Alex Sam is better. I say, as a Kadabra, it seems like it'd be a close call. But I'm fairly certain they would have made Alakazam a lot better given the trouble you had to go through to get him. We were replaying the Gen 1 games a while back and taking repels into every cave with me. And especially when I got to Victory Road, I was using max repels like crazy. And one of my friends saw it and was like, aren't there a couple Pokemon in there you don't have? I said, I don't care. I don't want to get into fights every two steps. I just want to beat the damn game. Yeah, I never really used repels. Much like I never liked to use healing items. I always like to... I always believe that I'm going to use them later, and then I never use them. So I always finish games with like this huge excess stock of potions and everything. <laughs> Doing a lot of RPGs, that can help you out a lot. Because if you're not using the items, then you don't have a need to buy them. <laughs> what am I doing? I don't need to go down that route. I just need to keep going up here. Back to where we were. some of Bryce's stuff while we're here. That's not as good a tight matchup. There you go. <laughs> I'm 
apply to you. Hey, chance for a new friend. This was a new roof, right? Yeah. Route 10. Let's see what we can get. Alright. <laughs> okay. An absorb shouldn't get it because poison is strong against grass height. And it it has to get both. Okay, that's good. We can eat a few of those. <laughs> Who's gonna ask the same thing? Okay. Pokeball. Go. Got an X. Ooh, no mess up this time. Uh, I'm trying to think back to if we had a nickname for the one that we re thought we were going to get a while back. No, we didn't. I don't really have anything for a n pun. Uh, I don't know, we can name it Sparrow. Spanky can kill. Chance already has covered in this cave. Yeah. Uh, I think Margarine can learn Flash, though. I need to not be selfish here. We're just going to place. Spanky in the box. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. Bless you. Thank you. Well, you could always teach Deja Flesh. Yeah, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> or Chance.
Polypolo kills everything better in this cave. I think so. Yeah. Honestly. Hey, here's our track. <laughs> <laughs> no fanfare at all. Okay, for everybody that watched our last Nuzlocke, we are naming it Drakeel O'Neal. <laughs> Of course, the only downside is you have to level up Zubat. That's true. I'll do that at the same time I'm getting Cobra up. Just use the hell out of that absorb. <laughs> in your face. Who walks around in a cave like that? <laughs> this is my Dragonite costume. I feel like I would walk around in a dark cave with this on. Yeah. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Soothell is an item that doubles your friendship throw rate. And Zubat's final form, you have to have 100% friendship with it. So it's really annoying to get to. But we can do it. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Stay fan. Come save us. Get high. Well, that slowpoke is just holding on as best as it can, ain't it? The old 
whole maze idea that you show is just keep your hand on the right on the right wall and keep walking and you'll find your way out eventually. Hmm. Seems like a good idea to me. <laughs> when did this become the status of video game? Oh, uh, you found out that rock. One of it was like I didn't know that was there. Serendipitous rock. Way to go. Ah, I could have avoided this fight. <laughs> <laughs> We're almost out of absorbs. We do have ethers if we need them. Yeah. But that goes back to my I hate using cured items. <laughs> Uh, not as far as I know. And I don't want to get low to get this too over level. I know the next place is a grass gym. Did you see how the camera had to pan up? Yeah. <laughs> like that was just a that was a lie. That was ridiculous.
nothing on it. I know. Wouldn't have really helped too much just to have with well. I know. Well, I was still getting excited at first because I was thinking of our first Nuzlocke. Uh-huh. I was like, hey, we already have Zubat and Geodude. The only thing left is Onyx. No, no, we did not. But what we do have is an escape rope. And seemingly an unstoppable attraction with some other Pokemon. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> that is ridiculous, and you know it, Pokemon Company. And this is for Spanky to help. But he's not here. Still want a Jigglypuff. Just think it would be cool. It would be. Because those things are true tanks. <laughs> uh, I can't beat your eyesight, I'll tell you that. Dudley. Yes, yes I can. I have an overpowered grappler. <laughs> I can destroy anything you send at me. Play it. That's just getting in a hurry. Graveler on Graveler. <laughs> and mine wins. <laughs> well, man, this might be a good stopping point after this but battle. I think, we're at the, I think we're at the end of the tunnel. Which okay. I, I'm almost certain. <laughs> Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Really, three in a row. <laughs> It's got lots of slow pokes. Clearly. It doesn't want to do any damage to them until I can't get a full restore off of it. <laughs> doesn't need the experience right now. Gotta get into this fight and then yeah, it's just to the town. Alright. I 
the self, not the L. <laughs> Hey, I thought it was pretty good timing. I don't care what you think. <laughs> ah, bitch. At least it's just regular poison, not toxic. Oh shit. We might have a berry that works as one. If not, it's literally going to have to be uh, use our escape rope and go back to the Pokemon Center. Which I would do off. this wake up. Pure poison. We can thank Salt for these. <laughs> salt has given me a ton of berries with this pickup ability while I sit around and grind. See? Here we go. Okay. Now this is what I would call a stopping point. Alright guys, well it's been fun. Uh, if you're watching this later on on YouTube and you enjoyed it, be sure to give us a like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe to see more of our weekly shenanigans.